Hi, I'm Pastor Cheryl Fleckenstein from Community Presbyterian Church in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, and this is Midday Prayer. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our hymn today is I Will Come to You. I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. I am hope for all who are hopeless. I am eyes for all who long to see. In the shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I am strength for all the despairing, healing for the ones who dwell in shame. All the blind will see, the lame will all run free, and all will know my name. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I am the word that leads all to freedom. I am the peace the world cannot give. I will call your name, embracing all your pain. Stand up now, walk and live. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. Our psalm today is Psalm 102, verses 1 through 17. Lord, Hear my prayer. Let my cry reach to you. Don't hide your face from me in my time of trouble. Listen to me. Answer me quickly as I cry out. Because my days disappear like smoke, my bones are burned up as if in an oven. My heart is smashed like dried up grass. I even forget to eat my food because of my intense groans. My bones are protruding from my skin. I'm like some wild owl, like some screech owl in the desert. I lie awake all night. I'm all alone like a bird on a roof. All day long, my enemies make fun of me. Those who mock me curse using my name. I've been eating ashes instead of bread. I've been mixing tears into my drinks because of your anger and wrath, because you picked me up and threw me away. My days are like a shadow, soon gone. I'm dried up like dead grass. But you, Lord, rule forever. Your fame lasts from one generation to the next. You will stand up. You will have compassion because it's time to have mercy. The time set for that has now come. Your servants cherish Zion's stones. They show mercy even to her dirt. The nations will honor the Lord's name. All the earth's rulers will honor your glory because you, Lord, will rebuild Zion. You will be seen there in your glory. God will turn to the prayer of the impoverished. God won't despise their prayers. Our scripture reading today comes from John 8, verses 31 to 38. Then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, 
You are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And they answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household, but the heir has a place there forever. So if the heir, the son of God, makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, yet you look for an opportunity to kill me because there is no place in you for my word. I declare what I have seen in the Father's presence. As for you, you should do what you have heard from the Father. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O God, from form the minds of your faithful people into a single will. Make us love what you command and desire what you promise, that amid all the changes of the world our hearts may be fixed where true joy is found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Savior has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May the God of peace be with us. Let us bless the Lord. God's name be praised.